Can computers help us in math? Well, honestly, I don't suppose computers can help us in math because, in most cases, if we go to the supermarket to buy some groceries, we don't need to work out how much we should pay by ourselves because there are some cashiers and they can help us to check out by their calculators. Also, another form of computers. So in this way, I think people's Mathematics skills deteriorate in some degrees, but uh, another re uh, another situation is that uh, some scientists maybe sh uh, may should work out some advanced mathematical problems. So in this way, computers can help them with their math. What are the advantage of computer games? I think one benefit of playing games on the computer is that players can improve computer literacy. They understand how to connect to the internet, download software, and use online communication tools to talk to different players. If they improve computer skills, they can perform well in the workplace. Some people also think it is beneficial to children's brain development. Education games such as playing chess, doing quiz, etc., can boost brain activities. Can computers help us in math?、Um, can computers help in math? Honestly, I'm not very sure what you mean by that. Are you trying to ask me whether computers help people, humans, improve our math skills, or whether they assist us in math? Which one do you mean?、Uh, both. Okay, both. That's weird. Well, honestly, what I think is that I, I don't. I don't really suppose computers help people improve our mathematical skills. Because now, when you think about it, for example, if you go to a supermarket to 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 buy some groceries, when you check out, you don't have to work out the math. You don't have to work out how much money you pay by yourself. Okay, the cashier relies on a calculator, which is a kind of computer, to work everything out. So I think our mathematical skills have. Deteriorated because of this. However, computers do assist people in math. Still, because of what I mentioned just now, we don't have to do it by ourselves. Computers are responsible for working out、uh, working out all the math problems. Since most people do work on their computer, why do they still need to go to the office? And、uh, <laughs> that's a very interesting question, because I've honestly I've thought about it before. What I think is that, well, as far as I'm concerned, people don't. Need to go to the office anymore because we can just work from home, right? We can even work remotely from home.、Um, now, for example, I'm an English teacher, right? And I have some online classes, so basically, I don't really need to go to a physical class. I can, I can teach anywhere in the world, even when I go on vacation,、um, when I travel. Perhaps I'm in a different country, like if I'm in the United States. Of course, we have a time difference. But as long as I feel comfortable teaching at night, it doesn't—it's not a problem, right? It doesn't bother me. So what I believe is that people don't need to go to the office anymore unless they do manual work. But that said, if they do manual work, it's not the office where they work. It's probably a factory. Maybe that's not your question. Do children like to play with toys or computer games nowadays? Well, actually. Under the most circumstances, young children today tend to spend the major time playing with computer games in general. In fact, an increasing number of children these days like to do this more often, mainly because they could have a broader view of this world and get to know different sort of friends on the internet as well. This is really important. More importantly, young children, I think that they should be encouraged to play computer games in a balanced way. Their parent. What I'm trying to say is, is that like their parent should supervise them and give them proper advice to do so. Besides, a small part of children today prefers the traditional toys that they used to play with. It's like a popular trend. They just love it without any specific reasons behind this. So that's kind of like my point. So that's it. Do you think of people who have a computer and those who do not have one nowadays? Technology is the core of almost everybody's lives, especially computers. I suppose that there are not many people who don't use them. Thanks to computers, people can easily access infinite source of knowledge on any topic they can think of. 
and once the source is confirmed to be reliable, work can become tremendously more efficient. People whose computers are working tools are most likely to follow their working plans and take advantage of it to the fullest. The multitask ability of computers can allow working on several different methods at a time. Plus, I mean, like computers can help organize by classifying all the files that will be needed later, and it wouldn't use too much space. It can be saved and reopened easily. More importantly, the computers can are the best way to connect on the internet and make full use of it. A wide, you know, like a wider range of information can be found and uploaded or downloaded on the internet. People who use、uh, computers in the context don't have to go to the library or someplace else in order to acquire information. By contrast, people who don't like using computers tend to live in a more independent way, and、uh, they are more traditional, a little bit like old-fashioned. You know, they would spend most of their working time in the library or in labs, and they wouldn't suffer from health matters. I mean, like you know, overusing computers might cause, like sore eyes, for example. So that's my point of view. So that's it. And here is part three on computers. Let's have a listen to the first question. Can computers help us in math? Oh boy! All right, it's us, us. Well, honestly, I don't suppose computers can help us in math because, in most cases, if we go to the supermarket to buy some groceries, groceries, groceries. We don't need to work out how much we should pay by ourselves. It's a bit. <laughs> I mean, what she say, what she says is true, but it's a bit weird <laughs> to use groceries as an example. I think.、Um, do we spend a lot of time in the supermarket? Because there are some cashiers, and they can help us to check out by their cal. <sighs> they don't help us to check out. The. Cashier is the person where you check out, but they don't help you check out. This help, this is because well, Chinese is her first language, so she says they help us check out, but that's not what they do. The cashier is just where you check out. Later, also another form of. Oh my goodness! I don't know what the background noise is, but she says here. By their calculators. I've never seen a supermarket that uses calculators. <laughs> They use cash registers, not calculators. Cash registers. Also, another form of computers. Why does she say another form? If there's another form, what is the first form? So she just she should say a form of computer. Although personally, I don't know. I'd say a type, type of computer. Computers. So. Oh, also. Whoa, hang on a second. So another type of computer, not computers. Computers. So in this way, I think people's mathematics skills deteriorate in some degree. What is the screaming in the background? To some degree. I think people's mathematics skills deteriorate to some degree. But、uh, another re-、uh, another situation is that、uh, some scientists maybe sh-、uh, may should work out some. May should. No, you can't have two models together. Should work out some advanced mathematical problems. So in this way, computers can help them with their math. Well, these are two very extreme. Well, not extreme. I not not extreme. But the question was. Can computers help us in math? I mean, to be honest, in the part three, you can say anything. You're not penalized for your ideas. The examiners don't care about your ideas; they just care about the language you use. So, no, it doesn't matter that she really talks about、uh, supermarkets or scientists. <laughs> Those are like very extremes on the spectrum. Anyway,、um, later we're gonna hear another response. Which I think this first one copied.、Um, we'll get to that in just a sec. Let's listen to the second question. Are the advantage of? Whoa! Hang on a second. Let's get rid of this. That shouldn't be there. I didn't edit that out. 
<laughs> oh come on! All right, here we go. What are the advantage of computer games? Now this should be in the plural. What are the advantages of computer games? I think one benefit of playing games on the computer is that players can improve computer literacy. Okay, the word is improve, improve, and there's a missing possessive adjective here, so it should be. Players can improve their computer literacy. I mean, this is a nice phrase. Computer literacy, as far as vocabulary goes, is pretty good. This is too bad she left out the word there. They understand how to connect to the internet, download software, and use online communication tools to talk to different players. If they improve computer skills, same thing here. So if they improve their computer skills. They can perform well in the workplace. Some people. Are okay, now wait a second. Hang on. This has to be developed more. If they can improve their computer skills, they can perform well in the workplace. You've got to back this up. Why? Because after this, she goes on to talk about educational games. Why? What's the relationship between computer games and um, the workplace? If you don't mention that, I'm pretty sure the examiner is going to ask you why do you think there's a link between these two. Some people also think it is beneficial to children's brain development. Education games such education games. It should be educational educational games. Education games such as playing chess, doing quiz, doing quizzes. Is that a game? Doing quizzes. Anyway, this should be in the plural. Etc. Wait, wait, wait. What? Etc. Etc. That should be etc. etc. And also, just another thing in the speaking test, don't say etc. When people talk, they don't say blah 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 etc. They was, instead of that, they would say and so on, or something like that. Can computers help us in math? Oh, this is the one that I think was the original response. The other one I think is based on this. Um, can computers help in math? Honestly, I'm not very sure what you mean by that. Or It's fine. If you don't, if you're not clear on what the question is, then ask for clarification. Are you trying to ask me whether computers help people, humans? <laughs> people, humans. Improve our math skills, or whether they assist us in math. It's a fair question. Um, I guess he's going to answer the question himself. So he's kind of playing two roles here. He's playing the role of the candidate and the examiner. He's not going mental. He's just acting out two different um, roles. Which one do you mean? Uh, both. Okay, both. That's. <laughs> it's kind of funny. That's weird. <clears throat> well, that's weird. I don't know. The examiners can't do anything about the questions. The questions are what they are. They don't choose the questions. Uh, all right. Well, honestly, what I think is that I I don't I don't really suppose computers help people improve our mathematical skills. People improve their mathematical skills there. Because now, when you think about it, for example, if you go there comes the supermarket. Go to a supermarket to 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 buy some groceries. When you check out, you don't have see when you check out. Not when the cashier helps you check out. Have to work out the math. You don't have to work out how much money you pay by yourself. Now this by yourself, Chinese speaking people tend to overuse by yourself. Like for example, they will say something like, "I cook by myself," instead of just saying "I cook." Now here, I suppose because. The cash register is doing the calculations for you. You don't have to work it out yourself. So maybe that's what he means. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. But when in doubt, if Chinese is your first language, leave out the by yourself because we don't use as much as you do in Chinese. Okay, the cashier relies on a calculator, which is no, not a calculator. It's a cash register. Cash register. Is a kind of computer to work everything out. So I think our mathematical skills have deteriorated because of this. However, computers do assist. Notice the stress on do. 
However, computers do assist people in math. Let me, let me just go back a little bit. Let's just do that again. Because of this. However, computers do assist. Oh, sorry. It wasn't on do. It was on assist. <laughs> I misremembered. However, computers do assist people in math. Yeah, the stress was on assist. Sorry. But yeah, he uses stress to good effect. People in math. Still because of what I mentioned just now, we don't have to do it by ourselves. Computers are responsible for working out, working out all the math problems. Yeah, and here he uses a nice phrasal verb, working out. I don't know why, but I do kind of like the fact that he uses that. Instead of saying calculating or something like that. Since most people do work on their computer, why do they still need to go to the office? Oops. Um, <laughs> and that's a very interesting question, because I've honestly I've thought about it before. What I think is that well, as far as okay, what I think is that as far as I'm concerned, these two things mean the same thing. So what's the point in saying both? Just choose one. As I'm concerned, people don't need to go to the office anymore because we can. Yeah, I think he overgeneralizes a little bit here because he says people don't. Everybody. Why not just throw in a most? Most people don't need to go to the office. Just work from home, right? We can even work remotely from home. I'm not sure there's a difference between working from home and working remotely from home. Um, now, for example, I'm an English teacher. It's kind of ironic that this guy that has such good pronunciation says English. <laughs> Why did he do that? I mean, 99 out of 100 times he wouldn't do that, but when he says the word English, he gets it wrong. Right, and I have some online classes, so basically I don't really need to go to a physical class. I can, I can teach anywhere in the world, even when I go on vacation. Okay, this example is too personal. The examiner doesn't want to know about you. Just because you don't need to go to an office to do your work, does that mean most people don't need to do that either? He's going to the personal too fast. Don't do this in part three. If you want to give personal examples, do that in part one, not part three. In, um, when I travel, perhaps I'm in a different country, like... They're going to interrupt you here. If you keep on talking about your own experiences, the examiner is going to interrupt you in part three. If I'm in the United States, of course, we have a time difference. But as long as I feel comfortable teaching at night, it doesn't... It's not a problem, right? It doesn't bother me. So what I believe is that people don't need to go to the office anymore. Right, so he's basing this on his own experience, which is not what part three is about. Unless they do manual work. But that said, if they do manual work, it's not the office where they work. Okay, I don't know. He's starting to argue with himself. It doesn't really matter whether it's manual work or not. When we say the office, we mean your workplace. It doesn't literally have to be an office. It's probably a factory. Maybe that's not your question. Well, that's a very weird thing to say. Maybe that's not your question. All right. This is not the best example of how to answer a question. But maybe you can learn something from this. If, you, if you've said all you can say from a general point of view, then you can rely on personal experiences. But don't give your personal experiences up front. Save them till the end if you really have nothing else to say. Do children like to play with toys or computer games nowadays? Well, actually, under the most circumstances, yeah. Okay, this person has some pronunciation problems here, like enter and most. Uh, circumstances. Uh, I've noticed also that most of his answers tend to follow the same pattern. The pattern isn't terrible, but the pronunciation kind of distracts from the clarity of his response. Young children today tend to spend the major time playing. The major time? No, no. The majority of their time? Okay, but not the major time tend to spend the majority of their time I'm playing with computer games in general <laughs> oh boy okay you don't play with computer games you play computer games 
you play with physical things, like for example, playing ball. What am I saying? Playing with a ball, or playing with a dog, or playing with some other physical thing. But here he says in general, and then in the beginning he said, children today tend to. So if you say tend to, then you don't need the in general because they mean the same thing, right? In fact, an increasing number of children these days like to do this more often. Yeah, this is something he always says. Mainly because they could have a broader view of this world and they got to know different sort of friends on the internet as Get to know different sort of friends. Yeah, okay. As well, this is really important. I think he's trying to say really, but I I don't know. To me, it just sounds a bit mumbled. This is really important. Really? I guess, really? More important. Oh, come on now. Let's change this to a comma. More importantly, that's also a phrase that I've heard him use quite a bit. Very important. More importantly, young children, I think that they should be encouraged to play. I don't know why, why there's a that here. I think. Because here is the subject, right? More importantly, young children, I think, should. We don't need the they here because he already said they're young children. So more importantly, young children should be encouraged to play computers. Or more importantly, young children, I think they should. If you say I think, then the they is okay. But don't put the that here because we have the young children here in front. Computer games in a balanced way. Their parent. What I'm trying to say is, is that like their parent should supervise them. Supervise, not supervise. Supervise. And they give them proper advice to do so. I kind of forgot what he's saying here. So supervise them and give them proper advice how to do so. What is this so? They should give them advice on how to play games. I guess. All right. Proper advice to do so. Besides, a small part of children today. A small part of children. What does that mean? A small part of children means like I don't know their finger. <laughs> I think he try, he's trying to say a small number of children, not a small part of children. A small number. Prefer. There's no s there because it's billions of children or maybe millions. Prefers the transition toys that they used to play. With. The what toys? Tradition toys. Traditional toys. Traditional toys. The adjective is traditional. It's the tradition toys that they used to play with. Wait, what? Oh, phew, okay, okay. That they used to play with. I don't understand why it's used to. So does that mean the children play with the toys, they start playing with the toys, and then they play with the toys that they used to play with? Or is he trying to say the kind of toys that people have played with in the past? I don't know, I'm confused about the used to. It's the transition toys that are used to play with. It's like... That are used to play with. Wait, what? It's the transition toys that are used to play with. Yeah, I guess that's not R, right? That's they. They used to play with. Who's the they? I don't know. I, it's, I'm not clear if the they refers to the children or if it refers to people from the past what? it's like a popular trend well no if it's a popular trend then why do you say it's few children <laughs> that is not popular and they just love it <laughs> without any specific reasons behind it is so that's kind of like my point so that's it I think I feel I missed kind of his point all right, here we go. Do you think of people who have a computer and those who do not have one? Okay, now the previous person said that that question was weird. I think this question is weird. What do you think of people who have a computer and those who don't have one? Now, to be honest with you, sometimes the questions are a little bit weird. And unfortunately, there's nothing the examiner can do about that. So this is a question I would consider to be weird. <laughs> And the ex you know the examiners know that the questions they're asking you are sometimes weird. So they'll be, I think in general they'll be a little more, a little bit more lenient with you 
if the questions that they're asking are weird because there's nothing they can do about the weird questions they have to ask them nowadays technology is the core of almost everybody's lives especially computers i suppose that there are not many people who don't use them thanks to computers people can easily Oops. Easily access in. Okay, this word is access, access, not access, access. Finite source of knowledge. Now, if the sources are infinite, then surely there must be sources, plural sources. Of knowledge on any topic they can think of. And once the source is confirmed to be reliable. I do like the passive voice here. So once the source is confirmed to be reliable, the grammar is wonderful. Except for the and uh, here, but that's more pronunciation, right? Work can become tremendously more efficient. Mm -hmm. People whose computers are working to. I think he said using, but it sounded like whosing. This way more efficient. People whose computers are. Whosing. Okay. Working tools are most likely to follow their working plans and to take advantage of it to the fullest. People using computers as working tools. Wait a second, is there an R missing from this? People whose computers are working tools are most likely. Oh, yeah, there is. Good grief. Okay, obviously, I wasn't paying attention to this earlier. Okay, are most likely to follow their working plans, but I don't know why you need a working plan to use a computer. And take advantage of it to the fullest. Now, is the it the working plan or is the it the computer? Take advantage of it to the fullest. The multitask ability of computers. This is pretty good. The multi. <laughs> the multitask ability of computers. This phrase, multitask ability. This can allow working on several different methods at a time. Working on several different methods at the time, at the same time, methods. Do people use computers to do different methods? Doesn't he mean tasks? It allows working on several different different tasks at the same time. Tasks. At the time. Plus, I mean, like <clears throat> computers can help organize by classifying all the files that will be needed later. And uh, it would and, uh, wouldn't use too much space. What's he talking about? The computer doesn't take up too much space. Or well, the files. It. I guess the it's the computer. It wouldn't use it much. Okay. It wouldn't use too much space. It can be saved and reopened easily. See, now I'm confused. Is he talking about the computer or is he talking about the files? Because if he's talking about the files, why is this it? Okay, so far I really haven't seen much about the question. What do you think of people? He's just <laughs> he's just describing what people use the computer for. Uh, it sounds like he's just describing office administration. What? Use too much space. It can be saved and reopened easily. Mm -hmm. More importantly, the computers can are the best way to connect on. This one I don't know. They can what? The computers can are the best way. Okay, so I have to give him like the benefit of the doubt. I have to give him a little bit more leeway because the question is kind of wonky, right? But I think after talking for how long has he been talking now? Oh my God, it's been a minute. He's been talking for a minute. <laughs> I don't feel that he's really answered the question. You can't talk for a minute without addressing at least some aspect of the question before the examiner is going to interrupt you. This is kind of long. To connect on the internet and make full use of it, a wide, you know, like a wider range of information. Can wider range. See, that's the problem with adding this uh at the end. Because to me, this sounds like wide a range, but he's actually saying wider range. And be found and upload it or download it on the internet. Okay, so he's just describing how people download stuff. This has nothing to do with the question. People who use uh, computers in the context. In the context? I think you mean in, it means in this context. 
in this context. Don't have to go to the library or someplace else in order to acquire information. By contrast, people who don't like using computers tend to live in a more independent way. Okay, so here we finally get to the comparison. This is what the question is about, comparing people who use computers and those who don't. But this comes after, how long has it been? A minute and 20 seconds? And uh, they are more traditional, a little bit like old-fashioned, you know. They would spend most of their working time in the library or in labs. In the library or in labs? Why are people in labs? People who don't use computers are in the library or in labs. What? Also, it's library. Library. And they wouldn't suffer from health matters. I mean, like... Okay, I think he, he's trying to say health matters. Health matters, I guess. Health matters. I mean, like, you know, overusing computers might cause, like, sore eyes. Because he's talking about sore eyes. But that should be health issues, not health matters and it's health not house health issues such as sore eyes using computers might cause like a sore eyes for example so that's my point of view so that's it okay that was kind of muddled the total length of this response is man i suck at math 20 about a minute and 40 seconds there's no way the examiner is going to allow you to speak for a minute and 40 seconds in part three there are just too many questions. You've got to get to the point faster than this guy did. You can't just expect to talk uninterruptedly for such a long time. It's not going to happen. 